can you make your own Pro-X Touch? Okay, wait, if you do not know what is Pro-X Touch, Pro-X Touch is this thing where when there's two capacitive switches and when you press it, it activates the keyboard on your computer. So I was thinking, can you make your homemade version, a homemade version of it? Yes, you can. And I'm going to teach you how to do it. So what you're going to need for this project is some coins, resistors, wires, and an Arduino. And these are actually very easy to come by, I'll show you where to get them. For the wires, you just want to head over to your car, open your car, look underneath the dashboard, because normally there's like wires laying around. Uh, they, oh, wait, this is the wrong wires, maybe it's in here. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, so this is the wires you want to use. So for the Arduino, you want to just search around your house drawers, because sometime or another, you might have one laying... Oh, there you go, we just found our laptop and you just want to open the laptop and just search online for Leonardo and I think it's easier to just rip it off the internet because yeah for the resistors I remembered I had some in my storeroom so I'm just gonna go down and take some I can't really remember which drawer was it but then... hey 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 shut up dude shut up I really gave you food and water and I gave you even a nice comfy cushion for your expensive ass and what more do you want Shut up! So you just want to take your resistors out of the box that you always keep it in and yeah, you have your resistors now. Oh, and for the coins... So now once you have all your materials, you want to first start by taping the wire with the pin to the coins. You can use uh, tape or any other thing and you want to solder the other end of the wire to the resistor. Then you want to insert the resistors into the slots highlighted here and your end product should look something like this. As you can see, tape works a lot better than soldering for maybe like one hour. And now you want to just get this string of code in the description and put it in the Arduino like so. And you should be good to go. So this is going to be the first time I use the homemade Pro X Touch thing and going to be my first impressions or something like that. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so weird. Bro, the coins is not in the same place anymore. Wait, what? Oh, oh. So I was tapping the table at the end. Oh my god, it feels them weird when you cannot feel the tactile of it. Oh my god, wait, I passed it. Okay, wait, this is the fastest I've tried to stream before and it's because of this coin thing since I'm not using so much travel distance. Okay, let's talk about the cons and pro of this homemade device. So the cons about this product is that it keeps disconnecting, it is unresponsive at times, it's unreliable, and it's just gay. The pros for this product is that it looks so good. I mean, look at it, it just looks so good. Welcome back to another episode of the Squashy Boy Show, and today we are reviewing the all new, brand new, even better looking, Coin Clicker version 2.0 There's a version 4.0 now and it hides all its ugliness in the box Okay, yeah, so it doesn't look good So I do not actually have a Pro-X Touch, the actual product to compare my homemade version with And because due to the lack of money I spent on a body pillow I cannot afford the real one, so you know Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to the another video Make sure you follow my Instagram at squashy.boy if you decide to make this yourself, just drop me a message or put it in my Discord. Everything's in the links in the description and I will see y'all when I have no more colorblindness.